everyone and welcome back to Tutorial. In this video, we are going to be introducing the website Replit. Replit is a website that contains 50 plus languages for coders to collaborate in. This is the first part of Replit and we're going to be discussing how to make an account, how to make a new project, settings, and social settings of Replit. Before we go along with our tutorial, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to our channel. First, we're going to talk about how to make an account in Replit. Type in replit.com in your local web browser and then click on sign up when it is loaded. Enter the information that it asks you for, for example, username, email, and password. You could alternatively use Google, GitHub, or Facebook to sign in. Additionally, they'll also ask you for your display name for people to see, a short bio, and profile picture. However, all of these are optionals and so it can be skipped. You can also choose whether you like the dark mode or a light mode. Raplet is accessible for everyone who never written a code to experts. There are four options for you to choose from based on the skill of your coding. Never written code, written some code, intermediate level, and expert. Moving on, let's talk about how you can create a new project. First, click on the Create button on the top left of your screen. You can search for templates, which is basically the language you want to code in. This includes Python, Node.js, C, Java, and etc. Make sure to not forget to give your project a name and then click on the Create button. Now, let's take a look at the settings of Replit. On the top left of the screen, you can see the title of your project. This is the settings for your project. You can choose to publish your project or not. Once you have written your code, make sure you click on the button on the top middle to run your code. One of the main reasons users love Replit is because of the ability to collaborate with your peers and coworkers. To do this, click on the invite button on the top right to invite your friends. Looking towards the left side of your screen, there would be options like files, version control, debugger, packages, and settings. Settings includes your font, layout, font size, indent type, indent size, and many more. You would also be provided with the idle console and shell. On the bottom, you can also see the amount of CPU, RM, and storage that your program is currently taking. Lastly, let us talk about the social settings in Traplet. First, let us talk about the collaboration part. Collaboration is a big thing in Traplet. With Traplet, you can start a thread. You can start this by first highlighting the code you want to comment on, and then you can right-click on it, and then click on Start Thread. You can now comment on the thread, and your friends can see the comments you've been making. If you're the type of person who likes to chat your friends while coding, you can use the chat function in the bottom right of the page provided by Raplet. Once you're done with your project, you can post your project by clicking on the name of your project in the top left. Click on Publish and put in the information required like images and post, caption. This is, however, optional. The last feature we're going to talk about today is Spotlight. Spotlight is basically something you can do if you want to show your codes to a couple of friends but not making an app. To do this, click on the three dots button on the right and then click on Spotlight. This will take you to a page where people can view your project code, however, they are not able to edit the code. Thank you for watching this week's tutorial. Hope that we help you get around Raplet and make sure to give us a like and also subscribe if you like this video. Don't forget that we have a part 2 coming up and that's it for now. Goodbye!